we'll go through the episode of Cultures Connected. Uh, today we're going to cover the concept of the sale road and the sale concept. Uh, we use this a lot in the air loan system. Uh, I thought it'd be a good, nice little wrinkle to add to your offense if you want to add a nice little quick, simple play to your your stuff. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll go through some some draw plays on the on the on the huddle board, a few clips, and show you what we do, and take you through how we run it and stuff like that. As I said, this, this is one of our uh, our few deep past concepts that we actually do run. We run it in various doses, various formations. But I'll just show you mainly two by two and three by one today, uh, just so that you can, if you're just a regular, a regular guy, you can up upload this play to your, your, your playbook and get instant results. So uh, without further ado, we'll get started and we'll move forward. Uh, okay, playbook. Normally, when we're in, when we're in this. This is one of our, one of our mirror concepts in, in all offense. Uh, R is always opposite at H, it's just the way it is. If you're if you're in if you're in uh, pistol, whatever it doesn't matter. But for us, it's just R opposite H. So now now big moves. Anyway, uh, we'll start it off. We'll start off with the R because it's a good talking point. We keep the R R home on our sixty concepts for the majority because we were going deep game concept. We want that extra blocker. So we want that more time for that QB because he's got to take three steps. And if we uh, if we know we're playing a good team and stuff, we want to keep that back home. If there's a lot of pressure and we want and we want to flood that back out, and we want to send him on a route, we can. And we do, and we'll tag it in. Later on, we'll get our QB to tag it in. But for the for the start of it, for the most part, we want to keep our back home and get that seven that six month or seven month protection, okay? In this case, six month protection. If we were two back, we might keep both back home. It's just it's just the, the nature of, of what it is. Okay, so in this concept, in our style concept, we call it um Raider. Uh it's two by two to start off with, and it's a mirror concept, so it's the same both sides. Anybody that doesn't know what a mirror concept is. Okay, and our two outside guys, they take mandatory outside release. Okay. Mandatory outside release. Mandatory SO release. Okay. Same with the X. And we do this basically because we want our, our corners to turn their hips. Okay. We want them to turn around and run after us. Now, this concept, for the most part, when we're in 2x2, two two, we'll run it against a 2 high shell. Now, when we're running against a 2 high shell, we're talking about there's two guys high. They got oh, my bad. You got a guy here. You got a guy here. You got a guy here. So there'll be two high, two high safeties. And this is the concept of the two high safeties. Okay. So what we're trying to do is hold those safeties with the vertical rate a little bit, to keep uh, keep them occupied, and also turning the hips and turning the shoulders of our of our DBs, especially because they'll they'll be trying to gain the down. Okay. Our H and our Y are 10 yard out. Well, we say 8 to 10. Okay? 8 to 10. And ideally, when we watch the film back in review, I'd like to see those guys breaking at the same point. Now, I understand that the Y's on the line and the H is off the line. But I'd like to see a break in and around about the same point or the same yard marker so we've got some consistency in where we break it down. It doesn't have to be spot on, but if it's close, then normally we're happy with that and we're happy with how we attack it. So on this on this concept, it's very simple in terms of um in terms of how it's run and very simple in terms of what we're trying to achieve with it. Um we can see that it's basically the same both sides. It's one of our our few murder concepts in, in the deep game. Outside guys on the fade. Inside guys on the ten, the ten out, ten and out. Okay, and all we're looking for this would be a pre-snap read, basically. Was that whichever guy gives us the most ground or shows us the most grass, we're going to attack it pre-snap. 
So because these sofas are too high, these sofas are too high, like so. We want to break those sofas off so that they're, they're literally going to come down and chase us. Okay? They're making a trying to chase us through. That's what we're trying to do. We've got some video content for the show a bit as well. Um, and that's basically the play in, in that in purest sense. Is that we want to we want to keep the safety occupied with the uh, with the deep threat, like so. But we also want to attack that attack that spot. Attack that spot where we he's vacated, okay? So if, if they were in press, or if they were in cover two, it would be a lot harder to run this this concept. But when they're off in cover two, and, and it's normally like third long situations, we're just trying to get the catch, convert it, either make it a, a fourth and short, or get the yak and make that first down. This is normally a, a concept we like to run in like third, six, third, seven, third, eight um, portions of the field. And that's one of the things that we like. Now, one of the things that we do, or I do, is I have a tag on this. We will flip those ropes, okay. Even if they even if they were too high, we will flip those ropes. The last year we call it shield, and all shield meant was that if the receivers on the outside run a fade, when we call shield, they would run a tenant in, okay. So they can't run a tenant out technically because they're, they're too close to the sideline. So if we call shield, our two slot guys. Run the fade, and then all we're asking the all we're asking the slot guys to do is entertain those two safeties and keep them preoccupied. That's that, that's what our main goal is. If they're going to cover two or cover four, even better. Third principal prize, eight and in eight and in. Like so. Again, if their if their corner was was down low like so, it will be hard to run this concept. But you can still put your foot in the ground there and break him off. But if he if he's giving you that that leverage to run off into, you're gonna make you're gonna make him run away. Put your foot in the ground and then cut in. You're gonna get the inside the inside slot the inside row coming in, cannon in, and the safety is gonna be hopefully preoccupied. Or the fact that they've got to they've got to keep hold of these two slots. Okay. Two by two, two by two, uh, flip, or as we call it, chill. Okay. Now, if we if we move it to trips, when we move move it to trips, we'll normally get a one eye because of the way. The way that the defense is rolled, the, the safety is down. Okay, but let's for this sake, let's remove these, remove these, these uh, things. Now, in our, in our situation, because our X and our zero on the line, it will mean our, our Z, uh, X and our Y on the line, it will mean our Z will come across into trips. So, if we were running trips left, he will come in there. And he would sit in the middle of that, sit in the middle of that, okay? That's what he would do. Now, when he brings that, when he when he comes across, he brings his route across. So, on the back side of it, this guy was still running his eight and out, okay? On the front side of it, or the play side of it, this guy is still running his mandatory and slowly fade, okay? What we do differently on this on this aspect of it is that we want to play games with the defense. So what we'll do, this Z he's bringing he's bringing his fade across. Okay? okay. What we want what we try and do on trips, I'm gonna clip to this, is we want to we want to make the guys covering them wrong. Okay. We want to make the guys covering them wrong. Or put this guy in a bind. He either has to cover the fade or he has to cover the 
point down and cover the, the pen and out. You can't do both. So that's just how this, this, this has been snapped. He's going to go up there and run his, and run his, his fade. And what we ask our um, hikes to do, we ask our hikes to stack the Z. So we're literally running behind him and putting this defender in a bind. Even if there's a man, even if there's a man pushed over down here, in coverage of haste, he'll be in a trial mode. And then he too has to make that decision. If he breaks off, we can break off and take it out. If he's running vertical, he'll, he's already got a beat because of his because of the situation. So he would still run. He would he would keep running his, his vertical route. Like so my bad. He would keep running the vertical, vertical route like so. At 10 yards, he's going to run his out. Okay? And that way he puts this safety in a bind. If this safety comes down, take that H, you hit the Z over the top, attacking the conflict defender. If this, if this uh, safety stays with the Z, the flex is the Z, then we just hit our H on the on the ten and out. All we're trying to do, we're putting that defender in conflict and making him wrong every single time. Okay, it's easy and simple and plain. Uh, the only other thing that we we would do on that is if our quarterbacks were unsure, we'd always say take that Z. Uh, take that height as soon as he cracks open. So as soon as he breaks open and you see him cracking into, into the daylight, into the grass, if you're unsure, you're learning, you don't know whether you've got that safe to beat, hit that out, throw that out. Even if it's incomplete, like, there'll be a few clips there where it's incomplete. If it's incomplete, it's okay because you made the right read. You just got to try it up to complete the next time around. That's all it comes down to. So that's what we're looking to do on this play. A nice, simple stuff. And that's, and that's what we like in this offense. Simple but effective. Let's flip it over. Let's move it to um, the opposite side, okay? Hold on. So our Z, if you flip it to the, to the chip right now, our Z is still running this route. Okay. Our, our X and our Y on the line, so that means our H will come across. It will sit. Okay. Like so. Because we're flipping the field, we don't ask our X changes route. We want to keep things really simple and really easy to teach and understand. So we're not asking someone to do things they're not already doing. Just just coming across, okay? A H there runs a, runs a second. Vertical route. Again, we ask our war on this to stutter the step or for, or quick fire, quick fire step, so that our ice cream run past him. Not bad. So our ice cream run past him, get vertical, and just like on the other side. He's gonna stack him, like so. And then when he gets to 10, he's going to break it out. Okay? Really simple. We stack, and then we break it out. Okay? So that looks some clips there. Show some clips. This play. Okay? Pre-season last year, uh, we haven't got a lot of clips on the on here from before. Uh, been, a lot of people have been wiped off, but this is pre-season last year. Again, this is just simple two by two. I think this, I think this is um, a simple uh, radar, which will be uh, fades and ten down from the slots. We'll watch it for the first time. Third note. 
just got his day marker. I think it was third and seven or third and eight. We got the one horse out there. You complete it. Might not slow down your yardage on the stick. Watch it through again. So on the on the snap, you want our outside guys. Run that mandatory fade on both sides. Outside release, turning the shoulders and hips. Then our, our inside guys are going to run 8 to 10 and then break it out. Like so. Not break it in. Break it out. Like so. Okay. You can see we've got, we got the, uh, the linebacker is, is over our, our Y, our, our stud receiver. Okay. The, the back is over our wide receiver. We like that. Okay, because that just gives us the cushion to push off and get it done. We're looking. We're looking to see where, where, when the when the receivers break to their to their out route. How close are they? How close are they? So he's come down. That's okay with us because we want to take him away anyway. So we're looking to turn his hips and shoulders and take him away, which we do. Um, we've got a bit of a cushion here, but it's okay because he's going to occupy him. And the person that reads for me on this one will be our, our way anyway because of the cushion. Okay. So we get to the, the level. And as you can see, roughly, maybe a step or two after, maybe a step or two away, but the depth is pretty much symmetrical from both our receivers, which we would really like. You can see that our X is taking that DB away, and our Y will vacate the space what he's run, what he's run into. No stuff mark QB, makes it very catchable. Our, our receiver's smart, savvy, knows where the sticks are, secures the football, steps out at the marker, and we take that first down. Okay, that's one of the things that we really like about this play, two by two. The ball out there makes the catch. Great job. Okay, let's change it up. Let's change the film a little bit. Let's do um. Let's go to uh, last season film. Let's go to uh. Play, go on page 45. You can see that the on this on this player, uh, it's actually not actually um, liable, so this will be trips left. It was right so it will be our trip left um, style concept. So on the snap, again, when we're in trips, we ask our back to play the opposite side to our H, or let's ask otherwise. But for now, he is okay. So this is this is the this is the play side snap of the concept. So on the snap, our X is doing our mandatory so release. Take his go away. Okay. Our second receiver is going to put a fade. Take it go away. Our third receiver is going to basically stack and then go up and then go out. Okay. We're flat across the top. It's okay because we want to, we're literally going to pick on this guy right here. This is the guy that we want to pick on. Okay, he, we want him to be wrong. This 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 uh, backer or DB, whatever it, whatever he is, not sure if he's, he's actually a backer or he's actually a DB, but um, he's on him. But because he's playing him in man, we know that we can get his, his shoulders turned and his hips turned, and he's in chase mode. Okay. 
So on the snap, you can see he's he's turning his hip, he's turning the hips, and he's he's literally stacking our our number two guy. Okay, as we stop it here, if you throw his football now, these two guys have both bitten down on this on this um turning out receiver, which means that our, one of our two fades, our secondary guy, is basically wide open. Okay. Again, this is a learning experience for our QB. This is his first year. You can see that he has his eyes on him right now. And this will be the this will be the prime time to throw it. However, as you can see, his hand goes up. He knows that he's got the safety beat, and the and the, the corner is not even looking at the X right now. He's too busy looking at the, at the slot guy, the second big guy. And because he's unsure, he takes that third the third the third route. The out, the turning out, as you can see, it's popped open late because he's now trailing him. It's a little bit of a poor throw, and it sails off his head. Unfortunate, but the concept was nice and the read was good. He has two options on this play. Watch it again. the stack he's trying to get a piece of him it's probably because he's gonna, he wants to bump him and let him go our guy our guy's got him here okay we are beating him on the seam on the, on, on the two route but these guys are looking in the back looking in the backfield now looking their field now and our our guy comes popping out on this ten and out makes itself available Unfortunately, it's incomplete. But you can see that what we're trying to do right now is put this this defender in conflict. You want to make him wrong. He bites down, or he or he gets stuck in down by the lucky lucky the miss route. We can hit that number two route on the seam every single time. If he backs away and tags that number two route, you can see that the, he's passed him off. Safety stuck there. This guy just can't cover two guys. We're good. We made him wrong. So as soon, as technically, as soon as this guy back goes down and sits, our slots open. He sits, our slots open. That ball should be thrown straight away. He's the guy we're reading. He's the guy we're looking. To, we're looking to go at. Our QB was a first year guy. We were talking about if you're ever unsure. Or we start turning out if you can't if you can't see the see the, the, the passing lane. Or we start turning out and make sure it counts. Hang on. Or we start turning out, make sure it counts. Bastards in there. A little bit of fortune. But these are teachable moments, right? Go play if you go play 111. Okay, so now we're in trips left. Again, our back, is at, our back is opposite our trip side. Personal preference, it's my thing. It's an air raid safe on the uh, air raid thing, so you know that's what we do. Uh, outside guy's going to run the fade. He's going to run the fade. He's going to stack him. And then run. And then run his fade. Okay. Basically, what's going to happen? He's going to stack it and run his face. What we're trying to do is make this guy wrong every single time. Okay? Okay, so you can see that I've got no help over this side. It's literally uh, man's up. 
this guy's now in a total bind. Does he bite? Does he bite down on this guy, or does he go back and track number eleven? Okay. And outside guys attacking the outside the outside the shoulder, inside shoulder, making turn his making him turn his shoulders. This guy's making him turn his shoulders. The speed is doing a great job of, of attacking that inside shoulder from his, from his on his corner. Okay, as you can see, he's stuck in no man's land. He's still looking at our slot guy. He, he's deep. Okay, the play through we got some, yeah, he breaks down here. Nothing we can do about that. It's not our problem at the moment. So you can see he breaks out. It would have been a great cat. It would have been a great concept to, to throw and run. So if you watch it, watch the concept through one more time. He stacks him. He put that defender in conflict. He has to pick number eleven or else pick number not, uh, eighteen. He doesn't pick either. Okay. Do one more time. And that's that. Okay, he's still running his, his vertical bit on the opposite side, on the single side. If you remember if you remember at the very start of this video, when I said we were talking about uh, what the running back's job is on this play, he stays home and passes X, and this is the reason why. This guy never played running back at all this season, and because of injury in the first quarter, we had no running backs. So this guy who played linebacker all year stepped in, didn't know anything about the offense at all, hadn't played it at all, and was on the, actually on the fly. So for some reason he decided to run a route on this when he should have stayed home. If he would have stayed home, he would have got one of these two guys. In the end, two bags free, and they take away the passing concept for our quarterback. Okay. So there's a reason why we do all we do. But as you can see, that if we'd actually thrown, thrown the football when we could have thrown it, it would have been a nice concept to complete. Okay, we'll show him the play. Uh, let's go um, go up the way where I know we complete one of those. Okay, for us in this in this season was a, a season of adversity, really, in many, many, many ways. The quarterback in this game started his first ever game of quarterback, which is the third time this has happened. Basically, in our game before this one, week, uh, our week nine game, our starting QB got absolutely destroyed by Sam Roth uh, and couldn't participate. He was literally out for the, the remainder of the season. Uh, so, uh, Speedy B, who have played a little bit of QB in when we do some wildcat stuff. Yeah, we'll make a practice and uh, play the game. We then do a lot of QB runs, keep them honest and occupied, and that worked to our advantage because the guy was quick and uh, he managed to pull through and win this game and make the playoffs. Um, it was credit to the guys for doing that in, in, in one week practice. They got it all down and in. Credit to Speedy for taking it on. Great job. As you can see, this is another one of our trips. Okay. He's going to run the vertical. He's going to run the vertical. He's going to run the play around. Okay. As you can see, this is, this is set up really nice for us to they're not, they're not defending this well at all, in my opinion. Okay. We will all, normally you will always see a cover, uh, a cover three, one. Whenever you're playing in trips, because they always bring this, this guy down to flex out. But the way they're defending it isn't the, isn't the best. He's, he's bumping out late. So, what we're doing now, this guy stays with him. He's popped open. The throw is there right now, but you can't, uh, Speedy can't see it. So, we don't, we don't take that throw. Our turn note guy pops up the other side. Great throw, brings it back. 15, 20 yards. Our 
What happens on this one is that when we stack this guy, he gets stuck in absolute numbers and there's nowhere to go. He gets pretty conflict. He gets lost in the wash. He now thinks he's going vertical and he keeps going. He looks back for the ball. And when he looks back for the ball, a guy breaks out. Great throw from my QB. He turns it upfield, makes the first down, and then the eight or ten yards on top of that. Okay. Let's do one last time. The minute was that the back one. Um, we can run this play both ways, left and right, trips left, trips right. We've had more success running it trips left. I'm not sure why, but that's just the way that it has been. But it's doable from both sides. As you can see, he will be our initial look. We want to hit that steam early if he bites down. That ball should come out a bit faster. But we always say that if, if you're unsure, throw the tenant out. So if speed is a little bit short and couldn't see that, see that pass, even though the pass down was great, and he thought he was too close, it's fine. We wanted to, to pass it off. This uh, DB gets caught, eyes in the backfield. Look, he's just going to QB. Has no idea that our guy's broken out. He's a great job of turning, sitting, making a catch, and turning the field. Okay? I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Just put it back to two by two. And our original concept. Our original concept outside monitor release mode. Our outside guys, eight to ten and in from our inside guys, and our running back stays home. We like to run it into two eye shell, preferred cover two, cover four. This is, this is going to be our, a deep concept, so we're actually being into time to protect for protection to keep our back home to help protection. Don't let him go on a pass out unless he's tagged because of, because we want to get him on the heart or a pressure release. Okay. Simple concept for your offense, gents. One of the best uh, air raid plays there is. Okay. And uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you get something from it. I appreciate you guys. Take care.